here's the situation for today. I'm on St. John's River going up to jet towards Jacksonville. And here's what I'm thinking today. I haven't been filming a lot of this trip because I keep thinking I'm going to do more vlogging when I get to where I want to go. More vlogging when I, when I get there, right at my, my destination, the tropical paradise uh, vlogging, right? That's not the attitude to have. The journey is the destination. So I'm going to start vlogging more of the daily activities, okay? This is it. I am here doing what I wanted to do. I wanted to be on the sailboat, on the move. Yes, I'm not in the Bahamas. I am not in the tropical waters, but every night I'm seeing dolphins right next to the boat. Uh, interesting sea life, jellyfish going under my boat. Interesting things that I'm not documenting because I keep thinking, oh, I'll do more vlogging when I get to where I want to go. This stuff's going to be boring. Well, it's not boring. I realize that a lot of you watching are fascinated by anything to do with the boat travel, right? And so I want to document that for you. Today, like I said, I'm heading up the St. John River. I've got the motor going. The engine's quite loud. One of the challenges on a sailboat is keeping your lines in order. Lines were just chaos from the other day when I sailed in. Uh, so I've been, you know, trying to clean up things. Okay, so this will give you an idea of how bad the current is on some of these rivers. It says I'm almost going seven knots boat speed, but only four knots over ground. Uh, what does that mean? It means that there's a three knot current. All right, now I got to get my chart again and kind of see where I'm going. It's right next to some hazardous rocks. What the? F All right. I use my Navionics. All right, so my goal here is to go down this river to St. Augustine. It's 30 nautical miles to get there, which takes about six hours going at five knots. And I almost forgot, I gotta put my flag up, especially in this military town. You gotta show support here in Jacksonville. Okay, much better. Jesus. Got a sailboat coming straight at me. That's the current right there under the Atlantic Bridge. Jiminy Christmas almighty, we're going like two knots. We're going one knot. I gotta pump up the pump up the volume here. We're only going one knot. This bridge has some intense current. Five knots of current against me. This is super sketchy. I'm revving up the engine to try to get through this bridge. What in the world? All right, here we go. Take it down a notch. That was crazy. Yeah, what'll kind of freak you out on the ICW is that you've got 20 feet from you would be shallow as anything. It's like two feet. And then in the middle here, it's 11 feet. So you really gotta be on your toes when, it, when you're talking about your depth gauge and looking at your chart. Make sure you're in the middle of this channel. But still pretty cool, the ICW. Beautiful scenery, for sure. Uh, interesting nature, you got lots of birds. You got some dolphins a lot of times you'll see in like the little inlet areas. Uh, just passed through a real nice area of some nice homes and like a little kind of canal area. So just keep trucking along to St. Augustine. I'm supposed to get there probably three hours and I will either anchor or go to a marina.
Drop what I'm doing and sit beside you. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, right next to me again, right there. There it was, perfect. Dead lay. Teach us and leave us with nothing to say. Arriving St. Augustine looks beautiful. I've never been here, but it's like a looks like a sort of European colonial city. In St. Augustine, I stay at a little marina here on the San Sebastian River. This is a great town. I was able to walk around the city a bit. I really liked it here. The next day, I head out to the ocean to make it further south. We're gonna go from St. Augustine down to Cape Canaveral. We've got some pretty, uh, pretty nice winds today, about 18, 20 knots of wind. The, uh, I'm going underneath the Bridge of Lions right now over here in St. Augustine. Beautiful old-fashioned bridge, drawbridge style. You have to um, wait till every half hour and it opens up. So. Holy sh On stressful days of ocean sailing, you often wonder why you're literally the only boat on the water for miles. Then you realize there's a reason people don't go out on days like these. Nonetheless, around midnight I made it to the Ponce de Leon Inlet and anchored for the night on the Indian River. The next day was sunny and calm. Now we're going through the Mosquito Lagoon. Very inviting name here in uh, central Florida where apparently it's a manatee um, protection area. So maybe we'll see some manatees. I've already seen some dolphins behind, but it's a very sketchy place for a sailboat because it only has a, a, very, narrow dra a very narrow channel. Even though it looks like a vast uh, lake, it's, um, the channel is apparently only like 30 or 40 feet wide and only 10 feet deep. And other than that, it gets to like two or three feet, the whole uh, the whole lagoon. But I've got about an hour and a half of this. So it looks pretty interesting. Oh, what do I see here? Stuff playing in the water. Hanging down the bay. Drop what I'm doing and sit beside you. Well, that's about it for this episode. I made it to Titusville, Florida, where I grab a mooring ball right about here. I stay here for a couple of days. Thanks for watching. See you next time.